Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make an egg hunt system. So like an egg hunt in Roblox Studio. So since it's Easter's coming up, I'm just going to quickly make a quick video since I made my own system in like 20 minutes. It's fairly easy. So let's get to it. So first we're going to want to insert a folder into Workspace and we're going to call that eggs, okay? Then we're going to find an egg model. Okay, we're going to go egg. Okay, we'll get this. Okay, and then just take out anything else that you don't want here. So we will take out this and then we will take out the script. Okay, now we will just call this one. Okay, so you have to number the eggs for how many you want. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to make 10. Okay, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and then let me just quickly number them. Okay, as you can see, I've, I'm done numbering all of them from 1 to 10. You have to number them every single time, uh, anytime you want to add a new one, to, so we can track it, because this will have data stored. So if a player leaves, they can come back and actually finish the hunt. So then, put the eggs in here, okay? And then next, we're going to want to insert a, repl a remote event to replicate sure We're going to put this egg found, okay? This will be the only remote event needed, okay? And then insert a GUI, we'll insert a screen GUI, okay? And then we will call this egg hunt GUI, okay? Then we will insert a text label over here, and then like drag it over here, and then uh, background transparency will be like one, text scaled will be true, uh, text color through will be white, and then text stroke transparency will be zero, kind of like that. And then the text will be eggs, 0 out of 10, okay, and then we'll just call this like counter, okay, and then now we will go oh, into server script servers and we're gonna, this script will be called egg, leaser, egg leader stat, no, we'll just call it egg stat, like that, okay, and then game.players.player added connect function, player, PLR and then local folder equals to instance dot new folder comma player like that. Then we're going to do folder dot name equals to eggs. And then also we're going to do local found. Uh oh no, not local found. Yeah, local found equals to instance dot new int value comma folder and then Found out value equals zero, and then also found dot name equals to eggs found, and also uh, instead of it being parented to the folder, actually yeah, it has to be parented to the folder, or else the data store will not work. Okay, so local found equals to uh, okay, and then we're gonna do for i equals to one, comma ten, comma one do. Okay, so you're wondering why. So we're going to do ranging from 1 to 10 for 10 eggs. This number matters. This is the only one. And then counting up by 1. So this number matters. 10. Okay. We're going to do local value equals to instance dot new bool value folder. Okay. Then we're going to do value dot name equals to i. And then value dot value equals to false. So basically it has 10 bool values because it circles through and they will be named 1, 2, 3, 4 to match all of these. And then the value will be false and then if they found it, it will be true. Okay. And now we'll do save eggs. Simple data store, save eggs. Okay. We will do game dot players dot player add it connect function player. Okay, okay, uh, no, the player, game no players, the player removing, we'll do that first. Okay, 
We're gonna do local data store equals to game. Oh no, I forgot. Equals to game get service data store service get data store player dot name dot name dot dot and let's just do like eggs okay uh no let's just do egg hunt 2022 something like that egg hunt 2022 now we're gonna do local uh stat storage okay equals to player player equals to player find first child eggs get children like that now we're gonna do for i equals to one comma number of stat storage do data store set a sync data store uh yeah data store brackets i straight brackets i dot name and then we're gonna do comma stat storage i dot value okay like that now we're gonna do game dot players dot player add it connect function player okay we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this local data store okay we're gonna copy that now we're gonna do player wait for child eggs okay now we're gonna do like wait hmm how many seconds should we wait hmm, like just wait one this is how fast it will. Let's do wait point five. Okay, we will do local stats equals to player five first child eggs get children, and now we're gonna do four i equals to one number of stats do. Okay, uh. Stats, uh, straight brackets, I, dot value, equals to, data store, get a sync, uh, stats, comma, I, dot, I mean, brackets, dot name. Okay, and then for this to work, we will have to publish the game. Let's just call it egg hunt. Okay, like that. Oh my god, it's so annoying when it auto turns on team create. It's actually so annoying. Okay, now in game settings, in uh, see, let's see, uh in security, we're gonna uh do uh enable studio at, no yeah to ABI services, which is like basically data store service. Okay. And now we're gonna insert another script into server script service. This will be the last script into server subscribers. Uh, it, it will be called egg found game dot replicated storage dot egg found dot on server you went connect function player comma egg. Okay, then we're gonna do a player dot eggs dot eggs found dot value equals to player dot eggs dot eggs found dot value plus one okay then we're gonna do player dot eggs find first child egg dot value equals to true actually no we'll do the script later because this will make zero sense for you uh we'll do other stuff first Okay, so instead we will uh, we will do egg touched. Okay, so in this egg hunt GUI, we're gonna insert a local script here. Not not text label. Insert a local script, and then we are gonna call this egg touched. Okay, so we will do four underscore comma eggs in pairs 
workspace dot eggs get children do eggs dot touched connect function comma hit now we're gonna do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid then if hit dot parent uh, parent dot name equals equals to game dot player so local player dot name then game dot replicate storage dot egg found fire server eggs dot name and then uh we're gonna do uh let's see uh bruh eggs destroy so it destroys the egg and then it does egg found now we'll go back to that server script <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the egg found server script. Actually, no, we'll do that last, okay? So now that we have the egg touch script done, now we'll, uh, now it's just starter GUI, not the screen GUI. Okay, uh, not the screen GUI. We're gonna call this destroy eggs. We're gonna do a wait to. Now we're gonna do for underscore comma eggs collected in pairs game no not get whatever that was game dot player so local player dot eggs get children do if eggs collected dot value equals equals to true then uh then if workspace dot uh eggs find first child eggs collected dot name then workspace dot eggs find first child eggs collected dot name destroy so basically if a player joins and they still have some eggs to find uh, it will automatically this client will automatically destroy the eggs that they have already found that simple okay and then Okay, well, and then last local script, we're going to insert it into this counter script. So this will uh, display the value. We're going to do local number of eggs. Okay, local number of eggs equals to a hashtag game dot players dot local player dot eggs get children minus one. Why are you thinking minus one? That's because it's getting all of the values that were in the folder. But remember, eggs found was also a value. And that's not an egg. So we, that's why it's minus one. And now we're going to do local eggs collected equals to game dot players the local player dot eggs dot eggs found. Okay. Then we're going to do a wait one. Then we're going to do script dot parent dot text equals to eggs like this and then dot dot eggs collected dot value and then dot dot slash and then dot dot number of eggs like that now we're going to do eggs collected get property say change signal value connect function we're now we're just going to copy this line and put it there and then finally time for the server script okay so we will uh so eggs found let's do that and then we will be done okay eggs found so now we're going to insert just like a wait now we're going to do local number of eggs equals to hashtag player dot eggs dot eggs found get children minus one and we all know why we need that minus one now we're gonna do if player dot eggs dot eggs found dot value equals equals to number of eggs then this is where we give the player a reward so we're gonna do a badge so let's create a badge so to create a badge you do home game settings uh, monetization create a badge remember it's free now so it really doesn't matter uh, I don't know what file I'm gonna choose. Let's do a thumbnail for one of my videos. Uh, egg hunt 
2022 preview purchase for zero robux okay now we will refresh here as you can see so copy the id to clipboard okay now we're gonna do a local badge id equals to that okay so now uh game get service badge service award badge player dot user id comma badge id and i think we will be done okay so i found an error in the data script and the uh and this script in the egg found so it's supposed to be just player dot eggs dot player dot eggs dot egg found over here so just player dot eggs eggs number of player dot eggs get children minus one and then in the save eggs instead of data store i it's supposed to be stat storage i and let's see if it works okay sorry about that okay so now eggs zero out of ten Pick up three of them. Okay, so now it says three out of ten. Let's press play. Will it save? Three out of ten. See those three eggs go as soon as I join. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Badge awarded Egg Hunt 2022. Boom, works. So this model is going to be in the description for anyone who wants it. And that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!